It's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. I hope you're enjoying your stay with your family. Yeah, thanks. Um, so I had a couple things happen. Um, I had kind of like this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but I had the kind of like this trauma response at work. And um, this thing about um, safety and helplessness and um, I kind of became immobile. I was like immobilized like physically and I just kind of had this really contracted energy in my body just like moving through and like I was kind of physically distorted and I was, kind, you know, kind of like frozen and um there was a lot of fear and um i kind of had this realization that like everything that i've done my whole life and every emotion is just like partly just strategy to feel safe and that i'm actually never going to feel safe with this separate me because that's like literally why we feel unsafe is because we're a separate me and um which kind of started to shift things for me and I kept having this, this like I don't know it was almost kind of like a desperation for freedom <laughs> you know I was just like oh, I just want to get free of this and um I investigated a little bit and uh Freedom is about control from the from the perspective of, you know, the personality. It's like, I want control. And I want control to feel safe and to not feel the things that I feel. And um, although I knew that, it was kind of like a kind of a deeper realization. And then since then, um, I started feeling like the sensations from a, like before I was like, um, there was almost like an observation of the sensation. And now it's just kind of like, there's not a whole lot of distance between the sensation and I don't know how to word, I don't know how to say it, but it just feels closer and more intense and um, less story like most of the time I, I'm not even identifying what it is I don't even know what it is it's just kind of so I was wondering if you could um, just speak to that I guess yeah. <clears throat> yeah so I think as mentally and energetically the the assumption that there is really someone at the center in control when that's being confronted in different ways and kind of seen through as an an illusion or something very conceptual like it's not actual reality then the perception in all of these different ways that's happening from the body, it just starts to shift. It's no longer me relating to the emotion or the trauma or the story. It becomes, there's no, there's no line or barrier. It just becomes less definable. things become more immediate and intense and raw and purely what it is. There's less mental constructs around everything. Yeah. So it feels like things are falling apart and things are less controllable. Perhaps you feel less safe. You feel more out of control. So it's like it, 
it's really understandable if it would feel like that. Because that's how it falls apart. That's how this contracted sense loses its illusory boundary, energetic boundary. I don't even know if there's more fear. I I think because of the directness there's like more discomfort. But sometimes I don't I don't even I don't even know if it's fear and I don't actually I don't know. But when when that kind of started to shift, I felt almost like it almost seems like fear is per, like personal. And it doesn't necessarily feel as strongly personal anymore. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> like before that immobilization thing happened, fear felt very like, like I am feeling fear or it's happening to me. Um, and now it just kind of feels like, I don't know. I don't know how I'd say that. Le I guess less personal and just more of a discomfort. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That sounds like a pretty accurate description. Yeah, so the 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 narrative's kind of uh, the narrative associated is kind of diminishing. So there's there's not like where usually it would be like I would feel anger or something, and like I, there would be a narrative that popped up with it. That's not necessarily happening. Well, that's not happening as much. It's just kind of like uh yeah <laughs> right right <laughs> but it feels like very intense was it like like just when the when it gets less personal it just gets more intense yeah because it was never felt to that extent before you're actually not able to fully feel things as a person as a individual sense it's mm -hmm. It itself is a protection mechanism or uh, it's a shield against life, against everything. So it's not really able to feel anything to its like pure essence of what it is. It's more of a, it's more of my interpretation of what it is. So it's very much filtered. It's very much made up contextualized, compartmentalized. So that's not actually needed. Like, the whole self is like, like an action to keep oneself safe and kind of separated, right? Like, it just seems like that's the whole thing is first to create this concept and then to like keep itself safe from everything. Like that's like the whole purpose of it. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, that's the only thing that I've been able to, um, it all comes down to that. Like every emotion and every strat, like behavior pattern that I've ever had is all just to, and attempts to feel safe and relaxed and that's it. It seems very, I don't know. That just seems very like over the top, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But that's like, it's a big production. <laughs> oh yeah. That's why it yeah. takes so much energy, but you don't know it. One, once it collapses, then you see like, oh my God, that took so much energy to maintain. 
um because it's it, it really is a manipulating of every aspect of life <laughs> yeah yeah but the thing is like everyone is doing it so it then it just becomes like yeah of course this is the way to live this is normal um but you know i'm here to tell you that it's completely possible to live without manipulating life and yes there are there's a lot of adjustments that need to happen because you are going against what everyone else is telling you is right so that transition is a difficult one but when when you fully rest into this unknown the need for safety is completely gone. I'm kind of um uh I don't know how I don't know how to say this shit, but I'll try my best. Like um there's like an intuitive sense that that's true. And I can ex actually experience that. Like when my body is at rest in the chaos of what's happening and experiences more intimate, I guess, then I don't feel unsafe or the need to protect myself. Um, but then when I like get up and leave the house or, you know, uh, around people that kind of comes back but I'm starting to see that that's actually not that I've never actually needed protection that things are just gonna <clears throat> happen the way they are going to anyway so I think I'm starting to but it's not like a conceptual thing it's not like I'm not saying like oh I don't have to protect myself or I, I feel safe right now it's just kind of like a I don't even know how to say it, like a feeling or sense or something. Yeah. Yeah. And you're just, you're just able to notice how you were protecting before. It'll just, you know, come up and be really obvious to you and you'll see like, yeah, it's understandable why that formed and it's not needed now. Um, and you mentioned like trauma responses, like that will come up as well to be shown to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't had, I haven't, I haven't had it so severe. I was like, it was, it took like an hour and a half. I had to like cancel my clients and I had asked my boss to come like sit with me <laughs> so I was, like, you know having a just like frozen and just like really going through it but it took a long time for it to pass and I like couldn't stop it there was nothing I could do yeah I tried and it just didn't work yeah but that's what it takes for those kind of trauma responses to just act out in the body because it's it's literally for there it sounds like a freeze response your body just needs to freeze and be paralyzed but what the person does is say there's something wrong with me oh my god what's happening this needs to go away this is bad but and that mentally can still go on but really the body just needs to freeze it's a literal nervous system response. Mm -hmm. And if it's allowed to play out, then it leaves the body. But what the person does is just constantly suppress it. So it's stored over and over and over. It's not able to just play out and be released. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I guess that's the same for everything. I just didn't associate that with like the freeze response. Yeah. That happened with me too. I think there was one moment where I felt paralyzed. Uh, I, I was scared because my body never reacted to that extent before. Um, but I think there was such an openness that it was able to fully be paralyzed or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing was stopping it anymore. And yeah, it was scary. But after that, it just never happened again, never needed to happen again. Something cleared out of the system after that. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely noticed a difference in, I don't even know how to measure that, but there's a difference. I can feel a difference after that happened. So. What a treat, what a trippy treat this is. <sighs> it's kind of sad too. In what way is it sad for you right now? Like I did all this work on myself, you know, to, and I'm, I actually like who I am. And that's falling away. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I hated myself for so long, you know? I couldn't even stand to be in my skin. Mm. So, I don't know. It feels like grief of like letting that go. For sure, yeah. yeah. And like, the relationship is different, you know? It, in order to have relationship, there's subject object. There has to be a person. I think every time I get on this Zoom, I start crying <laughs> in some in some way for some reason. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess I mean the thought that comes up is like I'm gonna miss myself, you know. Yeah, this is this is the part where you are 
at your own funeral kind of feel. And there is truth that Lily was such a beautiful person. You have amazing qualities. And it's true that you did do a lot of work on that and The thing is, it wasn't for nothing because it diminished the suffering up until this point where the, the next energetic step is the whole dissolving of the entire dream. But really, you'll see that, yeah, nothing's, no center is really relating to the characteristics but you'll see that the characteristics actually continue. You're still actually going to be quite lovely. So strange. It's really strange. Yeah. This really is the oddest thing a person can go through. Yeah, it really is strange. <clears throat> and I could already kind of see it there, but you'll sense that you're actually kind of evolving 10 times faster or 20 times faster than it is possible when there's a central owner of everything. Thanks for your support. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to mention?
Great Thanks. to see you, Lily. Hey, Taj. Hi, Suzanne. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So I just wanted to share with you and see what you think. I, I don't think I have a question. Um, I really, I, I don't know what's going on with me inside, but it feels like uh, just raw emotions coming up. And that's very strange for me because the way I was brought up and it was always, you know, I was the cool, collected person, guy, you know, and did that pretty well. And so now it just seems, I don't even understand it, but it's like even like usually when I get up in the morning, fresh in the morning, there's this you know, there'll be these sensations in my mind and body and energy flowing and all these very raw, you know, stuff going on. Um, and um, I can feel the energy going through my nerves and through the body. And I don't understand it. So I just want to know what you think about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. It is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like there's much more of a free flow. Yeah, but it's there's such, I don't know how, the only word that comes to my mind is just rawness. You know, and it's, it's frightening. It's, it's uh, stuff from the past or whatever was covered up. It's like, you know, layers of an onion have been peeled or, I don't know, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so when, when there are less and less solid shields protecting what's underneath, then what you have is the raw energy. And it is quite intense because we're not used to it being that full on. Um, and it will bring up certain realizations or stories. And sometimes the mind will say like, oh, this is too much for me. I don't know if I could handle it. But it's, it's just a nervous system reacting to what's happening. So it's going to try to protect. It, it's just a way of protecting to suppress again, to kind of like, make it less but mm. yeah, that's it's normal that the mind will do that it's very new for the body also to feel this amount of just pure energy so it's normal it's it's gonna worry but the body can really handle a lot like a lot a lot mm. Well, yeah, it seems to be handling right now. I mean, I'm not freaking out and, you know, um, trying to run away from it or go screaming into the streets, but maybe that would help. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and the thing is, I, I there's a part of it, like I said, that you don't understand. You just, you don't know what's going on where it's coming from, what's going to happen next, you know. Yeah, I know. It's very unknown. Yeah. One thing I did notice that happened yesterday was um, a situation that normally would have made me very tense and freaked me out. 
there was just this uh, quite noticeable pain in my heart area. And then there was just love. Mm. Yeah, it was quite noticeable, the change. Yeah. There was pain in the heart, and then underneath it was love. Well, there was something going on with the energy. There was some contraction or pain in the heart area. And then just, it, there was just then, I guess you could just say love. Yeah. 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 A lot of the time we're afraid of going through pain. So then that's why we live on the surface. That is separation. But when there is just a dropping into pure pain, then it's processed yeah. and released. And then what it's actually made of is revealed. Like all there is is unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think your body has been going through intense energetic experiences like this, like for a while. Mm -hmm. It's good. Every single time it's doing it, your body is acclimating in so many different ways that we can't mentally know. Yeah. So it's seeing over and over, like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh... I'm seeing more um, of the child. That uh, I never saw before. Or not much. Mm. Yeah. Like energetically you're feeling it and visually? Not visually, it's more energetic and uh, just also emotional. Sometimes there'll be, you know, flash of memories or scenes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of this can be a little bit of like mending the past. Mm. Not you mending the past, but life itself, like seeing it in a different way, feeling it in a different way, accepting it more fully with open arms. Yeah. Yeah, I can sense something like that is going on. Yeah. And do you feel like sometimes when it's less and less personal, then you can understand why certain emotional reactions were yeah um i think uh just taking it personally whatever happened was the reason it was all covered up for protection 
And I think part of this process is to the personal attachment to it, kind of release a little bit. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only way that you could fully feel through all of it, like when it's not you or yours anymore. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, thanks. Yeah. It's so good to see you. So good to see you.